In this video, I'd like to show you how to save your action in case you want to share it with others. I'll also show you how to load an action in case someone gives you a .atn action file. And so in our previous demo videos, I created an action that will apply a purple and orange filter and uh, put a gradient map and I adjusted levels and I applied a filter and did things like that. And that is saved inside the JC custom action set um, and the action is called orange purple glow. And so I feel like logically or like naturally, if I wanted to save orange purple glow as an action, I would select that action, hit the option flyout menu, but the option to save my actions is not um, available. That is because you can only save action sets. And so if I select the JC custom actions, which is the action set that orange purple glow is housed in, you can hit the option flyout menu, and now I have the option to save my action. I'm going to toss mine on the desktop. Um, now you have to make a decision. So right now um, the file name is going to be JC Custom Actions. But if the only thing inside here is the orange purple glow and that's what I'm trying to share, I might change the name of the file that I'm creating to be orange purple glow. And then you can hit save. Now I want to show you how to load the action. Um, if we go to my desktop here, you will see that the action has been saved. It's a .atn file. If you double click on it, nothing happens. It's trying, it's thinking. Uh, what you have to do instead is you can't open the file, you have to load the file. And so if, whoops, let's get rid of these. If we delete our existing actions, um, by accident, maybe I didn't realize and I didn't want to delete that. You can always add a .atn file by hitting the option flyout menu on your actions panel. And then this time, instead of choose save actions, we're going to choose load actions. We'll find wherever we saved our .atn file and select open, and it will load the action onto the actions panel. I would like you to practice saving an action preferably the action you created in the previous demo video. And then go ahead and delete your action and see if you can reload it via that .atn file. Once you can successfully do that, you can move on to the next video in this lecture.